Hello, this is my robot. It's a uh, differential robot, meaning it only has two wheels. It uh, has three servos, which are high-tech HS311 servos, which are about $9 a piece. Uh, two are modified for continuous rotation, while the other one is just stock at 180, 180, 180 degrees, give or take a little bit. I have a sharp IR rangefinder with its sensor cord, and uh, that's mounted onto a bracket which connects it to the the wheel of the servo. I have a uh, 6 volt 2400 uh, mAh rechargeable battery pack which was I think nine dollars at allbattery.com or something like, something like that. My caster wheel ball that I got from Robot Shop and I also got the wheels at Robot Shop which are like nine dollars for two. The whole body is uh, made out of Athens plexiglass, which I just, I just picked up at my hardware, local hardware store. And it works great because it's thin, so you know, it screws, you don't have to take an account, like, to get screws that are longer, you could, it's just really easy. And it's also quite flexible, although being rigid at the same time. So, smaller pieces like this will bend easier. Bigger pieces like the main body, it'll bend a little bit, but not enough to, to cause any problems and then I have my uh, my board with spacers that I also picked up at my local hardware store uh, spacers are about an inch doesn't really matter I have my uh, AT Mega 8 microcontroller which is this big black box up here and uh, the regulator which is right here this metal has a metal heat uh, sink right there and that uh, just regulates for 5 volts for the sensor and then un unregulated uh, electricity goes to the servos and uh, right now I have a uh, follower code so it just follows stuff this uh, goes back and forth and follows things so uh, let's try it right now I don't have a switch for it so uh, I'm just gonna plug it in the robot. Let me go get the, what it's going to be following. It's actually, the robot itself is pretty heavy. Or, heavy for its size, I guess. I'm going to be using this big, long, like, uh, ice cream cone box because it's just easy for me. Let's turn the light on. And uh, I'm going to auto-calibrate it, so I just turn the, uh, the sensor head facing the box and just kind of tell how much, uh, how far away I want it to be, and then I just take the cord to the battery, and I plug it in, and there it goes, there we go, and it follows it, follows it, see, it's all in the box, it's kind of hard to film this, I want to turn, Here's the box, sees the box, it likes the box. Oh, by the way, uh, this robot costed me about two hundred dollars to make. That's because I wanted to, I wanted it to look nice, and plus I didn't have some of the supplies that I needed. Let's do a turn. Oh, let's do a turn back this way. And uh, its name's Tito. That doesn't mean anything, like. It's not the short version of something. I just decided to name it Tito. And if it doesn't see anything, if I take the box away, it's just going to spin in circles until it sees something. I'll put the box right there. And it sees it. This is really hard to film. Oh, see, it doesn't see anything. Put the box in. Oh, sees the box. It likes the box. Box is its friend. Look at that. And you can see the head rotate as it goes around. Oh, and now it likes me. Sorry for my camera work, but I'm going to put it on the ground. And have it. Over here. Over here. Camera's too low. 
bring it up a little higher. Oh, there's a camera. There's a camera. 